Hello Crafty Tribe, this is Artsy Maddie, and let's get creative. So today I'm just starting with a egg shape, um, kind of like a wreath form from Dollar Tree, and just removing all the tinsel, and then you see the plastic egg shape underneath. And just cleaning that up, getting rid of all those little bumps um, that hold the tinsel on. We won't be needing any of those. And then I'll also be using these really pretty um, kind of extra wide um, decorative ribbon, like for presents and gifts and stuff uh, from Dollarama. I just thought they were so pretty, the colors and the iridescent um, shimmer to them. So my plan is to weave these together, like a, just a regular kind of basket weave and then cover that egg form in them. So I'm just laying them out here. It's a little bit tedious, um, but just kind of one of those mindless crafts that you can just kind of enjoy the process and not stress out about it too much. So I'm just laying them all out. I just use scotch tape and my cutting mat just so the scotch tape wouldn't stick to the table too bad. So I was worried that I was gonna have to glue down every single piece of this, but it didn't end up that way at all. The scotch tape worked perfectly and held everything in place. And then I didn't even end up removing the scotch tape at the end. I just left it on and it just kept all those ribbons in place, just like a fabric. So it almost made its own textile at the end. Um, so I'll just show you the steps here, just about done laying them out. And then it just wove together really nicely. I think because the, the ribbon is a little bit wider uh, than the normal curling ribbon you would get um, in the party section. Um, and it, it did lay nice and flat, like it wasn't um, wanting to curl up on me too bad. So again, just a little bit tedious, but again, not stressful, kind of mindless. You just go at it and it was kind of fun, a little bit therapeutic. And I'll just show you a little bit more of it here. And then at the end here, so I did think I was going to have to glue everything, but I was thankful I didn't. I just thought the scotch tape was working so well up above and on the side that I would just um, continue with the scotch tape to hold it all together. And it worked out great. So it, that saved a lot of time in the end. <laughs> so I think all together, I would guess maybe half an hour, 45 minutes for this project. And then you can see on the back side, so the back side doesn't have the iridescent to it. So like if you do uh, like it without that shimmery iridescence, then that's an option as well. So I just did it on both sides just to be sure it wouldn't fall apart as I was putting it over the egg. And then I decided to use a little scrap of fleece just because I had it. It probably isn't necessary, but it just made it a little bit softer and um, so the edges weren't quite as harsh but again I don't think this is necessary just kind of an extra step and just because I had some available so I go ahead and glue all that down with a hot glue gun and just pulling it a little bit tight over the edges I thought maybe it would um, soften the whole shape too just so you don't see that plastic frame and then just laying out the woven ribbons over top and here you have to be a little bit patient and just hold it in place as the hot glue is drying because it will want to pull back on you. So just hold it in place until that glue is dry. And you might want your finger protectors for this, like a little bit of the hot glue can come through that ribbon. So just to be careful. And I just tucked, tucked all the edges in. I did end up uh, cutting a bit of that ribbon at the end just because there was so much excess at the end. So it did come pretty round. Um, you'll see like a little bit of the imperfectness of the edges, but I didn't mind it too much. It looks cute and puffy. And then here I'm just taking an old uh, thrift store frame and an old piece of wallpaper that fits inside the frame just from a sample book I had from years ago. I can't remember where it came from, but I've gotten great use out of having those pieces around. And just giving the frame a coat of blue paint. So I was actually inspired by a, um, a gift bag that I found at, at Dollar Tree. And I'm just trying to match up the blue with it just to get a nice 
um, rich kind of bluey green tint to it. And then I also want to use some chartreuse, like that really bright lime green. So I'm just blending in a little bit of that with this wallpaper. And of course it doesn't soak into the wallpaper and my brush was wet, so I had a little bit too much water. So just brushing that off and just that little bit of chartreuse green in there. And then I mounted it to some of the cardboard on the back and just stuck it in the frame. I didn't use the glass. I didn't really want the shininess of the glass just the shimmery uh, iridescent of the egg. So this is how it turned out. Pretty cute, <laughs> nice easy craft. So today's video is part of Sticky Tuesday and it's um, held every other, or sorry, every second Tuesday um, by Deco Easy. And then uh, the co-host of this month is Kiki from Kiki's DIYs. So Deco Easy is uh, Diane and her mother-in-law, Jenny, and they do beautiful crafts, um, lots of really unique things that you don't see every day. I just love their channel. And then Kiki's DIYs, I just love her. If you're having a bad day, go watch her videos. She has the happiest voice and funniest little jokes and laughter and just makes you smile. And I love all her crafts too. So I'll have those linked in my description box. Be sure to go check those out after. And there'll also be a playlist of everyone who participated and you can go through and see all their videos as well. So here I just have two foam bunnies from Dollar Tree. I was lucky enough to get a few of those. So I was pretty happy about that. And I'm just painting them with that chartreuse green, that really bright green. They don't actually sell this color of paint at Dollar Tree. You have to kind of mix your own uh, with just a really, really bright yellow and a bright green, but definitely possible. <laughs> so I just gave them two coats just to be sure they were nice and covered. And then I had this crazy idea. I wasn't able to find moss a little while ago. So my husband and I, <laughs> between the two of us, he said, well, what do they use on those model trains? And I looked up like making your own moss, making your own flocking sort of thing. And what they do is um, grate down uh, floral foam. So this is just that green floral foam. And I just used a cheese grater and just um, grated it over this open bowl. This bowl worked out great. This is from Dollar Tree as well in their party section. It's kind of this odd shaped bowl, but it just worked perfectly for this craft. So then I'm just adding little bits of water, a little bit of paint to that foam, stirring it up. And it made this great kind of mossy texture. So then I'm just going in with straight PVA glue, just the white glue, uh, not diluted, not watered down, just painting it on the bunny and then just sticking on the moss. So I just tried to not press too hard because I wanted it to have like texture and kind of those different little clumpy, um, texture to it. I didn't want to just flatten it all down. So just gently kind of pushing it onto the glue of the bunny. And I love these. <laughs> I just think they're so cute. And it's such a neat way to get a different color moss uh, than just your average green. Or you could get really adventurous and do purple or blue or whatever you felt like. But uh, this was just really fun. Fun to get your hands dirty and I thought it was perfect for Sticky Tuesday because it was sticky. <laughs> and yeah, I just thought they turned out super cute and they blend in well with that little um, Dollar Tree bag. I thought I'd just make this super cute little easy vignette just with the, the few different pieces that all coordinate. I just about got it coated. So it gets a little tricky at the end, um, just trying to get on those last little bits. So they're still wet when I did the filming. So I'm not quite sure, they'll probably be dry by tomorrow, but um, like I wasn't able to go in and touch up any spots or anything just because they are still drying. But I'm guessing probably like two days to dry all together. And here they are, all finished, super cute little chartreuse. Easter bunnies. <laughs> and then for the last project, it is that bag from Dollar Tree. 
So it just caught my eye. I love the colors of it. And it just was such a pretty happy bag that I thought I'm going to do something with that. So I took it carefully apart. Um, if you're careful, the glue just kind of pulls away and you can separate all the pieces. I thought I would just save the print and maybe I'll make a little um, bunting banner or something like a little miniature one later. So I just cut it out. Um, at Dollarama, they are selling these little square pieces of hardboard and you get six of them for $4. So it's a pretty good deal. And they're just these square shapes and it fit almost perfectly to this bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Mod Podge it down. Um, so just decoupaging the bag down. And I have this little roller. This is such a great tool. If you ever come across one of these and it's not that expensive and you do do decoupage or Mod Podge, I'm finding it really handy. It was a really worthwhile tool to get. And then I just trimmed up the edges after the Mod Podge was dried. They cleaned up really well. And then this has become my favorite way to just frame everything is buying uh, one by twos from Home Depot. They are super inexpensive, like less than $2 for eight feet. And then if you are able to cut them down the middle on a table saw, or if you know someone with a table saw that'll cut them down for you, um, they become three quarters by three quarters. And then you have 16 feet of framing material for less than $2. So it works out pretty great. I just mixed them with some watered down um, black and brown mixed together just because I didn't have time for um, oil-based stain to dry. So just as a nice quick option, nice and easy. And then I just glued it all down to some cardboard just to hold everything in place. And that is it. Simplest craft ever. <laughs> oh, and I just touched up. There was a little tiny crack. I didn't cut them perfectly enough, I guess. <laughs> And here it is all finished. And then we'll just take a quick look at the little vignette all together. But I just want to say thank you for watching. And hopefully you've seen something that inspires you and you'll want to subscribe. And if you did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. And be sure to check out that playlist in the description for more inspiration and see what all these wonderful artists have created today. And I will see you soon in the next video.